I am finishing off getting ready. In about an hour, I'm gonna be dropping Delilah off for her last day at preschool. They're doing a party for all the leavers. Anyone who's going to be leaving to start school in September, they've been asked to bring in a party plate of food. So um, in a bit, I'm gonna go downstairs and put together her plate. Really wanted to wear this dress today, um, but it's a bit, a bit breezy and quite cloudy. And I think I might just, I might be a tad too cold in it. So I've gone for jeans and a top. Once I've dropped her off, I'm going to head into town. I've not left the house all week. So it's gonna be a bit of a treat. And I need to do some last minute birthday buying for Delilah's birthday next week. I've been using this NYX eyebrow pencil for a long time now. It's a really good shade. I'm really blonde down here um, and then I'm quite dark at the roots. Um, I'm kind of a mixture of colours. So many blonde eyebrow pencils are really orange and I just don't want that. And this is a really good ashy blonde. So I roughly fill it in and then I try and blend out as much as possible with this spoolie. And then recently I've started using this Glossier Boy Brow. It's just the clear gel and I lightly use that over my eyebrows because I find that um, I found for so long that my eyebrows just wouldn't stay in place and I'd constantly have to smooth them up. Anyone else find that there are times throughout the month where your eyelashes just don't play ball? I've got half my eyelashes missing on my bottom lash line. I'm gonna finish doing this and I'm gonna head downstairs and sort out Delilah's party plate slash lunch. Yeah. Start from here. Right, I'm gonna get this. Put those back in the fridge and we'll see how. get the cling film for me it's that one I had to buy some cling film especially to wrap her um food oh up God, we usually you. thank you we usually use them um, usually got lots of wax wraps but um they've asked for disposable plates and cling film so they can just chuck everything in the bin plate is um spare from her birthday party last year they're from merry merry got a couple of sandwiches one ham one cheese Got some party rings because it wouldn't be a party without some party rings. Mini jammy dodger, some skips, a little bit of fruit, some cucumber from the garden. Got a mini kinder bar. These are corn vegetarian cocktail sausages and one of these juices. Pizza. Oh, I'm gonna show them my dress. Oh, yes. Wow. What's it got on it? Love it. Some flowers. Yeah. <laughs> Are we ready to go? Yes. Just click in bag. Oh, wait for me, pop pop. I'm ready. We need your party food. <laughs> they cut that off my cake pan. It has. Get that the shops open later at the moment and then um, I've still got another half an hour until the other shops open. Sat here reading my book, currently reading This Is Where I Leave You. I'm really enjoying it. Got my coffee, grabbed a couple of bits so far. I've got some wrapping paper here. I've gone a bit overboard. <laughs> making the quickest pit stop to hide presents. And I need to go get Delilah. You'll see her main presents on her birthday. They've been hiding in the wardrobe for a good month now. Oh, door's just gone. Give me a second. This is really heavy. 
heavy. I think, I think these are the weights that I ordered the other day. I needed some heavier weights. I mean, it's just, if these aren't the weights, then I have no idea what this is. Where was I? So, um, main presents you'll see on her birthday. Grab this for when we go away um, next month. Mermaid sticker book. I need to get a few, few other bits to keep her occupied when we're away, which I'll talk about another time. Thanks to YouTube, she is obsessed with Hatchimals and LOL dolls, and um, I actually have a couple of those coming in the post soon, hopefully. I am slightly worried because a couple of days ago she said to me that she hoped she had a baby that uh, talks and, um, and whatever else they do. I used to have one that um, <laughs> pooed and weed, although um, yeah, all, all it really did is you fed it water and it just came straight out the other end. Yeah, she said she wanted one because one of her friends has one like that. And um, I thought, oh no, because she has a doll in here that I pre-ordered about a month and a half ago. And now I'm worried that she's going to be disappointed. Really hope she likes it. I'm having that last minute panic of, have I bought her stuff she's going to like? Has she got enough? Which is ridiculous. She has more than enough. have a couple of nail polishes from Claire's. She loves doing her nails with the um, glitter one that I bought her. What, that Father Christmas bought her at Christmas. Um, but it, it's one that comes off with water. And as you can imagine, we're washing our hands a lot at the moment. So it's not lasting long. So I just thought I'll get her these. This one has a pink, pink tone to it with just normal glitter in and this one is purpley with um specks of butterfly shaped glitter a while ago she did ask for an Anna doll to go with her Elsa doll that her childminder bought her it was it either last Christmas or last birthday um so I grabbed her this and um she even sings if you press her chest <laughs> every bath time she's been pestering me about bath bombs so I picked her up some I was only going to pick her up a couple and I ended up getting four so i went in and i thought oh that looks very birthday-esque with the confetti in and then i saw the rainbow one i thought yes that goes with the running theme of mermaids and unicorns it seems because i also went into a shop and found a unicorn balloon which they're going to blow up and i'm going to collect on monday i then saw this strawberry one which in hindsight maybe i should have just left that one and then got this i spotted the um the unicorn horn bubble bath and I thought, well, of course, I've got to get her that. I'm going to hide these now. And then I'm going to run and get her. I wonder how many more years I can get away with hiding birthday and Christmas presents in the wardrobe. Probably not that much longer. Let's make sure that's shut. a bit with Delilah's pillow. Nom, 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 nom. Been a few hours since I um, picked her up because there's not much happening in today's vlog and I've been getting requests to talk about books I've read recently and requests to do a garden update. I took to Instagram, I look so hunched over here, it's the worst tripod, let's pick you up. I um, took to Instagram to ask which you would prefer today. I will do both and 64% said you would prefer the garden update however it's really it's gotten really really windy outside i think i'm gonna have the book chat today sorry i'm currently getting buried in teddies <laughs> ah! that other presents has just turned up <laughs> i can't wait to hide it this is the hatchimals that i got her i thought this would be good because it comes with a case they won't end up getting lost they have a home you can put them neatly in here and put them in one of her um and put them wherever she wants in her room lila's occupying herself downstairs i thought i'd grab grab the books i want to talk about this one this one this one can you believe i used to be someone that said they didn't like reading now look at me. <laughs> this has to be the most boring background. I don't know where else to go. It makes a change of scenery. If you're wondering what this is, this was me playing around on the sewing machine. Clearly not a finished piece. And I probably won't finish this. It's just calico 
Um, I just playing around. Can't cut that. Maybe I'll open just the bathroom. That's not any more interesting, is it? Right. Okay. I may as well just talk about all the books I've read since um, since I started getting into it. I won't talk about them too much. I'll briefly go over them. I'm terrible at explaining books and um, it's just not really my forte but I can tell you whether I really enjoyed them or I didn't. One Day was the first book, I'm pretty sure it's the first book I read this year. Loved it, really loved it. I was quite lucky with the first couple of books I chose to read because um, they, yeah, they've gone down as two of my favourite books. We have One Day and we also have Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. One Day follows two people um, Emma and Dexter who meet in 1988 and you see their relationship over the span of 20 years. I didn't find that there were any points that I got bored in this. Um, it kind of, because it's going from year to year and place to place, it keeps it entertaining to read. There is a film and as a lot of you warned me, it's nowhere near as good as the book. I don't think you'd think the film was that bad if you hadn't read the book. Doug watched it with me and he said the film was fine. So um, one of my favourites, Eleanor Oliphant. I didn't know what to expect from this book. It follows a, I think she's in her 20s. The main character in this leads, as it says on the back, a simple life. She wears the same clothes, goes to work every day, has the same routines, all seems fine, but actually there's a lot more going on in her head and the book unravels that and you find yourself thinking, oh, did this happen or what happened? And you, you want to find out what's happened in her past to make her how she is now. There are bits in the book that I found really funny, quite kind of just blunt, but it was it was funny and I just, I really enjoyed it. I saw a review online saying it was really boring and really ripping the book apart. The book isn't simple, there's so, there's a lot running through it, but there are bits where it is just, you know, um, talking about her going to the supermarket or um, her just in her apartment or going to work. It's not thrilling, but that that lends itself to the story. I think it's a really good read. I can't remember which one I read next out of these three. So there's Holding Up the Universe. I've definitely spoken about this before. So all I would say is that I do like it. It was It's quite a feel good book, good storyline. I didn't get bored reading it. Chapters are quick and um, there were no points where I thought, oh, come on, get on with the next bit of the book. Similar to All the Bright Places, which is the author's other book, which is also on Netflix, which I've watched. But if I, if I had to pick between a book of a similar grounds, it would have to be Every Last Word, which is the book that I finished reading last week. They're both set in high school and I'm pretty sure all the characters in these are about 17 and for now I'm done with that genre I feel like I'm just a little bit too old for the usual kind of high school boy meets girl type thing but if I had to pick one this one every last word is slightly different it follows a character called Samantha she has OCD something that I could relate to and when I say OCD I don't just mean being super clean and tidy OCD can show itself in many ways. For her, it's more to do with her thoughts. Storyline came together really well. The chapters are short and sweet, and um, there was a bit towards the end that I wasn't expecting. So there was a bit of a, um, a bit of a, uh, what's the word? If I'd had more sleep last night, I probably would be able to conjure up the word. But there was, a, yeah, there were parts that I wasn't expecting. So it's nice to kind of be taken back and be like, oh, okay. It was a nice book. I'm glad I read it. Okay, so little fires everywhere. I've uh, watched the series and I've read the book. I did really like the book. I did. Um, there were bits I thought, mm, I'm getting a little bit bored. Maybe if I'd read this at the same time I'd read, you know, one day, then maybe um, I would have thought differently. I don't know whether I was just a bit more agitated and just um, not getting into the book as much. But I say that, I did get into the book. I, I, I really enjoyed reading it. There were just some bits that were sort of dragging a little bit but when you got towards um sort of midway and um towards the end a lot of a lot of stories running through it lots of things that wanted to make you keep reading and it is really good the series is amazing i love the soundtrack i was surprised that the series didn't end the same as in the book they did add a lot and not put some stuff into the series yes gorgeous 
okay that's fine either way this goes down as one of my one of my good reads. Can I just say, please tell me I'm not the only one if you agree, if you know what I'm saying here. When it comes to, so I've had a few people say, why don't you get a Kindle? And it's because I love, <laughs> I love having a physical book being tactile with it and um, being able to curl up and have the, the, the book in my hand. Plus I look at screens all day, be it because I'm editing on my phone, watching TV, so it's nice to not have a screen to stare at. But just like the way I favour a certain mug or a bowl, I favour certain feels of books. So my favourite kind of books are these, where they're chunky, they're matte, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sound bonkers. Whenever I say this to people, they just laugh at me. Like obviously don't dodge a book by its cover and all of that, which I, which I don't, but if a book is chunky in a matte paper it just makes the reading experience better for me <laughs> do you guys have a preference as to style of book because yeah these are my preferred style yeah all three of these books are perfect reading for me i know some people are going to hate me for this but i'm a real a real uh spine bender i like to really screw them up so once i've finished a book they all sort of slant <laughs> last two books a girl in pieces I really enjoyed this. I should definitely say if you are sensitive to certain topics like self-harm and drink and drug use, maybe don't read this. I don't want anyone to buy this because I've said I liked it and then go and read it and be like, oh. The basics is you follow a girl that suffered with um, her mental health and you see the backstory as to why and how she um, navigates life after and how she picks herself up and gets in a little bit of trouble and then she you know and where she goes from there that was a good read i enjoyed it and then the last one i didn't like it i really wanted to like this book um it's call me by your name i didn't love this book because uh, hello just gonna sit in that chair. i forced myself to read past the first few chapters thinking i'd enjoy it at some point and i got to you can i can actually show you where i got to page 127 <laughs> didn't actually have much more to read because there's not many pages in the book but i just couldn't i couldn't read any more when i gave up we decided to watch the film and I, ha I do prefer the film although i have my reservations about it which i won't go into now the book itself is written beautifully i struggled with it because it just kind of goes on and on about the same thing i get that it's written in a way that is trying to um reflect the thoughts of the character and how almost obsessive he is in young and young love and at that age when you meet people and you fall in love or lust after someone it is new and exciting and you think about it a lot and um and i get that that was a, a point that the author was trying to get across found myself getting annoyed reading it so personally wasn't for me but hey don't take my word for it because i know lots of people that have read it and really like the book pop these back Mommy. now yes pop pop, pop days um, these. <laughs> I get a monthly allowance with Arquette, one of my favourite brands. I get to pick out whatever I want and they send them to me. I'm saying that because this just turned up and of course i want to be transparent and say that this is gifted not paid for but gifted so i think now you have to say that it's an ad but gift <sighs> it's a gray area i've not been paid but i thought you might like to see a few things i won't show you everything i will just um i'll show you a few bits so. these are new in i think this um plant pot I think it's called flower pot. I can leave links in the description. You're gonna come and do the haul with me. There's a couple of things for you, Pop Pop, but just wait for me to do this. Yeah, so I love the shape of these. Oh, yes! Oh, very excited about this. I've got another plant pot. They do really good plant pots. I love their pink one, but it's usually out of stock. I have a bigger version of this, and I really wanted a smaller one for some smaller plants that I have. So, um, yeah, perfect, love that. These are for you, some funky socks, because 
your feet are growing. Let's try them on. Oh, there's two pairs. That's cool. There's actually there's, there's two pairs of them. Oh, very nice. Hi, I'm going to take them off for another day. You also have a <gasps> pink. I like them. They are beautiful. Got this little basket from Afro Art, one of my favourite sustainable brands. That's where her rainbow stripy jumper is I'm from. I'm going to try these on. Although I didn't get it from Arkit, I bought it myself on Truva. They're a really nice brand and Arkit sell them. Thought this would be handy to put bits and bobs in. Last thing are a pair of jeans. I'm fully expecting these to not fit me because I've never had jeans from them before and size in varies so much brand to brand. <laughs> Look at them on, beautiful. <laughs> Sizing varies so much with jeans, size to size, um, well, brand to brand. Well, I want to wear these with my sandals. Oh really? That would be a good look. I will more than likely have to um, exchange these. But let's try them on. Am I beautiful, guys? <laughs> oh, you're always beautiful. This vlog is turning out to be way longer than Mummy wanted it to be. I just wanted this to be a quick edit. Try these jeans on. This beautiful, guys. Oh, I had a feeling these would be too small. There are 26. I should have got a 27. Oh, oh. oh we're in. They're great on my legs. They're really good on my legs, actually. That's annoying because I know that when I go for the next size up, they'll be baggy. This is the problem I have. Tummy and my, my hips and my bum are um, a bigger size than my legs. I'm 100% going to get the next size up in these because they feel like a classic jean. Um, really good blue. About to say really good length. They actually hit me on my ankle and then I remembered that they're a cropped jean so that's probably why they fit. Most jeans are too long for me. We'll see if this 27 is good but for now I'm going to um, get out of these because uh, oh there we go. I just felt the whole of my stomach go whew. Dog got home about half an hour ago, just as Delilah was finishing her dinner, and she asked him very nicely if um, he would take her to the park. So I'm looking down because I'm trying to find my workout. Come a bit of a tr tradition of them doing that when dog gets back from work, um, which is quite nice. Make the most of the light evenings whilst they're still here, and um, it must be nice for her to run about and get some fresh air just before. Bedtime. So whilst that out, I'm gonna sneak in a quick workout. I've been feeling really tired and anxious today, to the point where I almost stopped vlogging, but then I thought I vlogged so much that I then feel anxious about ditching the footage but I feel a bit better a bit more awake and a little less anxious from um getting the old blood pumping I'm gonna make a start on dinner am I going to be able to carry this all oh, oh no I've got it I've got it I'm gonna make salmon noodles for dinner one of my favorite meals I didn't really have a proper lunch today um, I've just sort of snapped a lot. I don't feel very satisfied. So I'm very much looking forward to this. Let's find some music. Current favourite of mine is um, Arlo Parks. Her music is amazing. A lot of you would have heard Black Dog on the radio and if you like that song then um, check out the rest of her stuff because it's very good. Do you have fun at the park? Oh, sorry, are you vlogging? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll leave you to it then. Good job. And what? 
comes up the six or eight up the branches. And now she like some of my teeth are growing. Are they growing? Yeah. Uh -huh. You still got toothpaste around your chops. I got one tooth growing, Mummy. <laughs> I see it in the camera. Giddy. See? Oh, yeah. I'm just looking for a bit. I'm showing you my room. Isn't it amazing? I can't get my face. Uh, you have to, you want me to flip it around again? Yeah. And think. Do you like my room? Yeah. Yes. What do you want some hot chocolate? We're about to read the story. See, the story doesn't it look amazing? Okay, we're going to say goodnight, guys. Night, guys. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. I'm going to get this in my belly and continue watching Dr. Foster. I don't know why it's taken us this many years to watch it. It's now on, it was a BBC drama now on netflix and we've started watching it this week we're now on season two and it's so good so i'm gonna tuck into this watch that and get an early night so i think it's very much needed i didn't go to bed early enough last night we did that thing which we do most nights and every morning i regret it because i'm tired we did that thing where we thought oh, just one, one more episode but last night we stayed up later than we usually do and delilah came in at quarter to six this morning so i will see you guys in the next vlog it will be delilah's birthday it should be a good one so i'll see you then Hang on, let me put this down see you then bye goodbye